and welcome to EVA Report 2023. We're here at a Schmidt & Bender stand and Theodore is holding the brand new 10 to 60 by 56 competition rifle scope. Yeah, so you probably got used to the idea that Schmidt & Bender comes out with a bunch of new scopes each year. Um, luckily, this trend was now, uh, how to say, a little bit under control. So this year they're having only one new model and the orders will be possible at the end of the year. So basically what they're doing, they're upgrading their uh, 12 to 50 by 56 model. Uh, and they're going with this particular rifle scope into a segment of F-class competitions. Uh, even though the model which we have here is still first focal plane, it has really fine clicks, only half a centimeter, 100 meters extremely high magnification, six times zoom ratio, and basically a scope which is made and tailored for F-plus um, high precision shooting. The parallax on this side goes from 20 meters all the way to infinity. As you can see, like with all new scopes, the markings are on top, on, uh, on the upper side, not in the center of the tube. Uh, it also has the new system for the illumination of the reticle even though on scopes like this, the illumination is not really needed. But this prototype still has a tactical reticle inside and even in the first focal plane. Uh, later, there will be a second focal plane, reticles very thin and so on, with fine clicks and maybe even without the reticle illumination. Uh, the turrets are NTC2. That means that you have a lever here where in the first position you have normal clicks. In the second position, when you see the green color here on the indicator, you get the MTC function. And then if you push it even further with the red color, it's completely locked. As you probably know from all other videos, I have a so soft spot for all the turrets made by Schmidt & Bender. I really like them because they are so, pretty, I would say, unique. And with this MTC, MTC2 turret, or I think even this MTC2 plus turret. Yeah, it's the plus version now. Yeah. Can you see the turn indicator, how it's made? Yeah. There are numbers, numbers on it instead of the yeah. classic uh, graph. Yeah, so really, really cool. And on the, on the windy side, again, you have markings on the upper side. Here it's only lock and unlock positions of the lever and no MTC function except on the zero. On the zero, the click is much stronger. So on the second focal plane version of the competition scope, <clears throat> we can probably expect finely tunable clicks, yeah. preferably 1.8 MOA. 1.8 MOA. What's also interesting is that uh, they have uh, <coughs> 23 mils of travel, even though they have such a high magnification. And you can see in comparison with other Schmidt & Bender uh, rifle scopes that here is a special, it's a little bit different design of the of the turret bell so that they gained i think two two additional mils of travel and internally they made a lot of uh, adjustment everywhere to the components and everything <coughs> so that they achieved a mass of less than one kilogram so the scope even though it's really long and uh, big it's not it's too heavy not heavy yeah. yeah so i'm really glad the schmidt and better is um, getting back in into the f class arena on the top class where I think they will face Night Force and, uh, and March. And not that they only do tactical scopes like with everything else. We know how good they are in that segment. F-Class is the next uh, area where they should also uh, go in with a scope like this. So again, they're, or, they're all going to uh, combine with the hunting segment, competition, yeah. target shooting, yeah. and the tactical. They're going to cover sure. everything now again. Yeah. OK, great. Thank you for this uh, competition rifle scope review. See you in the next one.